Hello guys, welcome back to Game of Muffins. Today we've got another vista guide for you for Guild Wars 2, this time it's in the Harafi hinterlands. This area has 8 vistas and we're working around southeast to southwest anti-clockwise, so let's take a look. The first vista we have is in the Wildspine Hills. Teleport to the Grey Gritter's Waypoint and go south, climbing up the battlements as you go. Once you're at the top of the battlements, jump down from the ledge and be careful of these enemies as you go northwards up this path. Follow this path up the mountain, and once you get through, there's a ledge on your left. Just jump up the ledge, and you're at the vista. Our next vista is at Thunder Rock. Teleport to the recovery camp waypoint and follow the path south, avoiding enemies as you go. There are wargs and centaurs, so please be careful. Once you go to the top of this path, you need to enter the centaur camp. So rush through the gates, being careful to avoid damage as you go, which I fail to do. And then once you get to this part, you need to turn east and start climbing the hill. Then there are these ledges which you've got to jump up, and once you've got to the top, there's the vista. Next we have the vista at Hangman Saddle. Teleport to the barricade camp waypoint and run southeast and enter the camp, avoiding enemies as you go. Climb up the battlements and the vista should be straight ahead of you. Just make sure you kill some enemies if they're in the way. Our next vista is at Clovenhoof Pass. Teleport to the Junction Camp Waypoint and head north around the northern tip of the mountain to the other side. You'll have to go through this camp, but I think the quickest way is just to jump down this and head up, but if you can find a quicker way, do let me know in comments, that'd be great. And to get to the other side, there are some ledges here. Just jump up the ledges, and then climb up this wooden beam. Go up some more ledges, and then head to the top of the hill to get the vista. Our next vista is at Trebuchet Bend. Go to Fabusha's Overlook Waypoint. Jump down into the river and cross it at this point. Once you get to the other side, you can see there's a series of ledges that you can jump up. Climb these ledges, being careful not to land in the gaps because you can fall down on this one. And just climb to the top. And then jump onto the hill you can see on the right. And then just climb... I've gone the wrong way, but just climb to the top to get to the vista. Our next sister is at Arca Lake. Teleport to the Seraph's Landing Waypoint and climb onto the battlements, heading up these stairs, turning left and left again. And left again. Just keep going left. Okay, turn right and jump onto this mountain, climbing up the ledges as you go. Follow these ledges all the way around to get to the vista. Winchona Woods is next, so head to the Winchona Rally Post Waypoint and head south to find ledges on the mountain. Go 
Just climb up these ledges when you find them. And then follow the pathway through the mountain. Then just dump down onto the ledge and you have your vista. Our final vista is in the Bone Rattler Caverns, so you need to go to Fawn's Waypoint and then head southwest into the caverns. Once you're in, head towards the waterfall. Once behind the waterfall, head right and turn right again onto the scaffolding. Climb the stairs and you're at the vista. That's all for the Harafi Hinterlands, thank you very much for watching. If you have any recommendations of any guys you want sooner, then please let me know and I'll see you next time. That is... those dolls are freaky, huh? <laughs> fuck you! Stupid arms, fuck. Oh, we give food, that food gives me. Yeah. Nice, okay. <laughs> okay, it's the guillotine bit. Doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop! No! Fuck you, guillotine!